Hello everybody, Retrobeard here. It's Thursday afternoon at UK time. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. Feeling good and you've had a good day and a good week so far. Because we're coming to the end of the week now. I'm okay. And a busy day as usual, but I'm glad to be here and um, have some more fun on this awesome Super Console X. Um, as usual, I've not planned what's going to happen. I was going to see what games we end up testing or playing or... or um, Comparing because I quite enjoyed that bubble bobble um, comparison showdown we had in spite of the few technical hitches, but they're only really controller issues which I've started addressing today. When I've got a bit more time, I should better sort it out. So that should be okay. I might even find a better way of adjusting the controls. But if I believe with enough tinkering, I should be okay. It's just a case of games that don't have joystick native joystick access I have to um, mess about with it until it until the keys correspond to the direction so it shouldn't be too difficult the only annoying thing was then the virtual keyboard didn't seem to work so I'm hoping there's another option or route I can take but I made a start I do need to watch a video on it really, but I had a tinker earlier. I almost got Manic Miner controlling properly, but not quite. So, but if I get Manic Miner working properly, then I don't need the virtual keyboard anyway, because it's a relatively simple game. Just move left and right and jump, really. That's about all there is to Manic Miner. So, confident I'll have that, and then I could start exploring ways so I want to be able to thoroughly test all the games you know and all the, the consoles and home computers so but we've got plenty of games to keep us going until I get there I just need a um, quiet hour or so just to do that and then it should be fine but you know this console is still very well configured so no complaints before I go any further I just want to say if you enjoy my content please like subscribe share click the notification bell Leave me a comment and all that fun stuff. I really appreciate it. So, um, but yeah, so with that said, I will see what to do today. Hmm. What about a double dragon port showdown? I'm a bit more clued up now. I'll go to that. I apologize in advance that the home computer ports might be a bit hit and miss, but we will get there. You can always revisit. Uh, wrong, wrong. There we go. Let's go to dragon or dog double dragon. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's do it a little bit more um, specific. D O U B L E there's a space on this thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Space where are we? Dragon O N K Here we go. Oh, that's battle toads okay we don't want that double dragon on the amstrad cpc we'll see if that works but if we've got the controller issue then for now hello cauldron how are you doing you all right please control really wanted to do the cpc library i should have these controller issues down in about uh, the next two days i made some progress today doing a double dragon showdown 
of all the ports, all the ports that are going to play ball anyway. Hmm. I don't know what red screen means. Oh. Oh, yes. CPCs with double dragons working. And here we have the Amstrad CPC double dragon port. It's a pixelated mess, but it's very colourful and it captures the core gameplay remarkably well. Plays good so far. So it's definitely authentic double dragon. How do I kick? The, the CPC that was a one button um, component computer in the same vein as the Commodore 64 and the Speccy. So it's a very similar system. Rival system. Although it's very pixelated. Definitely Double Dragon, you can definitely feel it, okay. It's got all the moves, all the content, the correct style, just very 8-bit graphics. It's got a two-player mode, as we can see. jump kick, but that's probably the fault of me, not. Do you got a weapon? Even weapons. Ouch. Wish I could kick. Jump kick. Okay, he's battering me. It's good. Yes, that's good. Yes, the Amstrad was, hardware-wise, the most powerful 8-bit microcomputer in the UK. Not every example showcased it, but when it was at its best, it looked solid. This is not its best, but this is... It shows the colour palettes, you know. But yeah, hardware-wise, it's probably the powerful estate bit home microcomputer of the, of the big three, anyway. Yeah. Playability-wise, this game isn't too bad, because I don't think Double Dragon was exactly the most playable game anyway. But it was still a very important game. There'd be no Streets of Rage and Final Fight without Double Dragon, in my opinion. And Renegade, I think that played a role. Ouch. Back in the days of having a Specky, if someone would have shown me this game, I would have drooled. Now, how do I play more? How do I commence gameplay? Push one player. How do I push one player? Sorry, I didn't know how to put a credit in. <laughs> in fairness, though, we can move on because it was a wee bit tedious to play. So we've got that as our baseline of Double Dragon. What's next in the playoffs? Yeah. MSX. Is this the real Double Dragon? Give it a go. It's got to be proper arcade port Double Dragon. None of these deviations or derivatives or anything. It'll be proper Double Dragon. I don't know what this is. So far, so... So something. Oh wow, that's appalling. 512 RAM, my K RAM, my bud. 
What was it using the ramp for? The Amstrad did really well here. Really well here. It was the third biggest microcomputer we had. This is utter and complete garbage. Maybe it was good in its day in the context of what it was. Look at that. Whee! He's flying, look. Yeah! Yeah, it plays like cack, looks like cack, sounds like cack. It's not even got good graphics. It's, it's reasonably colourful, but no, this is awful. This is way worse in every single way to the Amstrad version. A Game Boy is more powerful than this. I don't know where it uses its half a meg RAM. Maybe it was a good word processor. I would recommend this game to nobody. Oh, it's got two buttons though. It's got a separate punch and kick button, so we had to have one advantage over us Europeans. But our microcomputers. Well, not that I consider myself a European, but. Knife! What's that about? My god, this is so annoying. This is like one of them LCD games, it feels like. And I hate LCD games. Possibly was. Um, well, no, it's a, it's a British company. Lord, Al Lord Alan Sugar, an entrepreneur, made it. Um, Amstrad was quite a big um, electronics company over here. You get hi-fis and and um, radios and things off them. He made his money by ordering cheap Chinese goods and putting his own sticker on it. And he, went and he made the Amstrad as cheap as possible and as, you know, and as simple as possible, but the one thing he did get right was the graphics hardware. Until he bought out the speckies and then killed them off, pretty much. Now this piece of junk is more like a very, very early 8-bit computer, even though it claims to have half a gig of RAM, and um, half a meg of RAM. Same as an Amiga. Hmm. No, we, we never did consider ourselves European, to be honest. We're on an island, we're not on a continent. We just sort of like went along with it. We never had a choice. We were we were sort of pushed into the European Union. We never chose to be. We wanted to stay as, a, as our own sovereign nation. So originally, I think people here consider themselves European when it suited them, like when they wanted a holiday abroad and they haven't got to go through immigration or want to move to France. Scottish people consider themselves Scottish. Not European, not British, they consider themselves Scottish, trust me. They're the most proud people, which isn't all a bad thing. I've never heard a Scottish person consider themselves anything other than Scottish, and, and plenty of Scottish people live in England, so I've got plenty of first-hand um, evidence. Calling a Scottish person British insults them. I don't blame them. I can't play this anymore, it's appalling. This is absolute cack. Worse than um, the Amstrad version. Rosetta Stone, no, 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 no. Is this a port? An enhanced port? Looks like it. Enhanced ports don't count. Come on. Ah. The Amiga. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be top suit in a minute? Battle of the ports. Please controls work on the Amiga. I've, I've been lucky with the control so far at least. Hmm. 
Why is it such a small game screen? Oh god, that looks rough. Is this the best the mighty Amiga could do? I expected the Amiga to be arcade perfect. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. So many people aren't fans of the English, but yet they depend on them. Neat and, and so many things the English gave them. Because of crimes, supposed crimes, that Redcoats did hundreds of years ago, I suppose, which has nothing to do with me. Which is mad. Hey! <laughs> Whoa. This is not a good port. This is more like a really good 8-bit port versus a cutting-edge 16-bit port. Like, where's the good music? Hmm. A bit too fast as well. Why when Double Dragon ever been this fast? What do you think to this? I think it's okay. It's certainly not a system pusher or a hidden gem. It's too fast. The graphics are not at least how I remember them looking like. There's no atmosphere to it. Why is there only like one sprite on a, a time on the screen when even this the MSX had three or four sprites? Yeah, and you want to talk about that history, the Scottish did plenty of raids into English territory and, and, and atrocities. It weren't just one-sided. I hate propaganda films that tell a pack of one-sided lies. Nobody was good in those days. Nobody was good because it was a more barbaric time. By today's standards, everybody was vile. Why do I only fight one person at a time on a 16-bit powerhouse console and uh, computer? This is a disgrace. When 8-bit computers had three or four sprites fighting, and this has got one. The Amiga? Hey, two people at once, I am spoiled. I'm starting to think it couldn't do it. So far, I think the Amstrad version's best. This is a state. Where's the music? Yeah. I think people nowadays need to like forget the past and um, not I mean I mean learning history is great, but forget the past where it clouds the vision and makes them be you know, makes them grow up with a grudge for deeds that were nothing to do with them. History is interesting to learn for the passion, but not for the grudges. Otherwise we'll never move on. We'll always be hating people who didn't even commit the actual crimes that we hate them for just because of where they were by chance born at. And then another question, will that same hatred apply as we all intermix racially so that it's not even about genetics anymore? It's just stupid. We most of the time you fight one person in this game. Hey, this whip must be invisible. Or ether ethereal. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. This is not a good game. So 
Amstrad one, MS, uh, yeah, MSX second, Amiga last, because this couldn't even must, this couldn't even muster more than one or two sprites. Atari 2600. Now we're playing with power. I never even knew the Atari had a, a double dragon port. <laughs> double dragon on the Atari's got music, but the Amiga couldn't conjure it up. The Amiga port was the worst thing I've played so far, and how do I actually access this game? Let me in the game, please. Mission 1. <laughs> More sprites than what the Amiga could do. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This is not the game, is it? Oh, come on! You just get trolled incessantly. I've turned into a dog for some reason. Why have I turned into a poodle for? Oh. I transform into a poodle when I get hit. I'm dead already. Good news, Amiga. I found something that's a total of a bigger pile of garbage than what you were. If I'd have paid money for this, I would have been mourning. Wow, that was the biggest steaming pile of crap I've ever played. What a load of... Maybe I was having bad luck. I'll try again. Fight, fight me! Why do you transform into a poodle when you get hit? Can someone explain that to me? Transform! Arr! Maybe a poodle can fight better. <laughs> they can even hit me! He's, like, He's not on my level and he can hit me! How does that work? We're not on the same level! Has he got 15 foot long arms? What the? Man! Look at this! I'm never playing that game for the rest of my life. I don't care what anyone says. That was the biggest steaming pile of crap. That is worse than the Amiga. But how can they hit you when they're not on the same level of the screen? No, no game's ever done that before. Yeah. Let's try it on the 7800. Perhaps that brings justice to the franchise. 7800 was a sort of slightly lower league than the NES, wasn't it? So I expect almost arcade perfect on this. Why has it got the same music? Does the 7800 have the same sound chip as the 2600? And anybody, can you confirm this? Why would you make a new console with the same sound chip as the previous generation? I don't get it. 7800 failed. It's got the same sound chip as the 2800. And if so, I'd put hardware in the cartridges like what Nintendo used to do with a sound chip inside or something. Okay. Please don't be the same game or I'm going. Oh. Oh. I take it back. This is not NES graphics. This is more like it. Come on! Really? You, 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 you mourn um, this. Look at it. This is what you would have had instead of the NES. <laughs> the NES sucks. Look at the NES. The um, 7800 sucks. Look at this. Look how, look how fast it moves. Yeah! Just reset the game by accident. Let's be honest. If this is what the 7800 turned out, it was a, it was more better off with the NES. People say Nintendo had mono monopolistic. I can't say the word. They're basically, you know, bad business practices. But like, um, if this was their only competition, they were destined to win, weren't they? This is absolute pack. People weren't going to pay 40 pound for this, were they? 
or whatever, whatever it would have been, thirty dollars, forty dollars, I don't know. Even twenty dollars you wouldn't pay for this, especially in the eighties when that was a lot, probably a lot of money. I hope it's not. Especially now I see that the the 7800 had the same sound chip as the 2800. This is the exact same sound effects. True. I suppose I need to give it a benefit of the doubt, don't I? I'm being a bit judgmental, but that, that 2800 Double Dragon stressed me out. That was... It wasn't even playable. This isn't very playable. It's, it's more like Street Fighter 2. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Look at this, he's beating the heck out of me. It's the fight of my life against one guy. <sighs> How much hit points has this guy got? <laughs> why, why are we all wearing um, blue, blue karate suits for? Geese for? Yeah, easily winning. This is this is filth. The Amstrad version's winning because it was honest. It knew what it was. It knew it was a pixelated mess, so it just gave you great gameplay to compensate. Can't play this one much longer. Feel me blood boiling. Two of them, I'm stuffed now, I couldn't even take one on. Can't be any worse than this. I need to be careful what I say, actually. I don't want to repeat the Atari. Seems to have the two player mode intact there, which I respect that, but. <sighs> yeah. You are right. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't do this anymore. That was appalling. Absolutely appalling. Part of the grading is also multiplayer modes. Atari Lynx. Atari Lynx. Most powerful handheld of its day. Producing almost arcade quality graphics. Albeit zoomed in. Look at that. Atari Lynx had native um, scaling um, hardware and also an ability for, for virtually unlimited sprites. Hello Retro Beast Games, how you doing? We're doing a um, Double Dragon port face-off. That's the way we roll. Easy, because I suck. Look at these graphics. Arcade Perfect, it's a shame they're so zoomed in. If they weren't zoomed in, this would be the dream. Let's see how it plays. That's how I remember Double Dragon looking, minus the terrible zoom in. How many buttons we got? Like my kick doesn't do anything. Music. Oh! Which is punch, there we go. Oh. They just changed the punch and kick at its own will. A fight. What the heck? Why is my kick a non connecting weapon? Man. This game gets top marks for graphics. But it's um, less marks for being zoomed in and, for the, and the hit detection's a little bit um, iffy. Like a dance this is. Okay, the bad guys die reasonably quick. Still only one at, oh, here we go. Two sprites, we are living the dream. Play very well. Looks good though. Ugh. I suppose on the handheld it's an achievement, but ugh, it's just not polished. I hate saying it, but the Amstrad CPC version plays a lot better than this. Yeah. I remember when I played California games on the on the Lynx when it first came out, and my mind was like completely blown. I thought, wow, I wish I could afford one of these, but I, I never had the money to even dream of having it. Yeah, 
and the zooming in has cost it a, a good position um, and the hit detection just is not there. I, did, I aim for them and they seem to kick above their heads, look. And they move backwards constantly. It's just not a smooth port. Have I got the ladder? Oh wow, it's got that feature at least. I just love doing that on the Spectrum port. Back in the day. Yeah! Oh. What, really a man of his stature would fall, hurt himself falling about 12 foot? Go down here. Three spikes sprites at once. Ah, uh, Miss Whippy. Mattel in television. I'll have to check that out. It's very much a problem right now. It's a shame. Boom. I don't have much room to um, manoeuvre in. The hit detection door. Oh, anyway, where are the sound effects when it hits? I want a fud. This with a bit more polish and spit, this could have been a really beautiful paw. How can my kick not? Ouch. What's he doing? That looks a bit dodgy. Okay. Uh, I want to get me a whip. Oh. Oh, that whip. That whip's good. What about a baseball bat? Scum. Okay, now I'm being beaten up on both sides. What's in this box? Oh, it's gonna be frozen here. Yeah? Ugh. This is not as good as the Amstrad version. Um. I don't know if it's just second or third place. It's better than the Atari 2600, better than the Atari 7800. MSX, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps joint second with MSX. I wish, I wish to leave this game now, but it drives me insane. Atari ST, this could be interesting, as long as it's not a copy of the Amiga one. If it's a copy of the Amiga one, I won't hang about, assuming it works. Oh wow, that's the future, isn't it? Here's the television one, this is the console with the awesome song, a special song for it. My television. Is that the song? Something like that. Oh wow. Please work and control. Oh no, don't do this to me. Um, will my wireless keyboard work? Please wireless keyboard work. How do I start this game? The ST might be a no-show, since I'm too, I don't have to control it. I'm just not going to connect anymore. Okay, I gave up on the ST. It's doing this annoying thing again, which I don't know, and, and what am I doing? I cannot control this with my laptop. 
ST will just presume it's like the Amiga for now until it behaves. Go away. Game Gear. Game Gear. I expect great things from the Game Gear. Yeah, I was a specky man myself back then. I had all the models pretty much, apart from, apart from the ones with the, disc, the floppy disks. I never had a floppy disk, that was the dream. Hey. Okay. Load me. Skid Row. I don't remember there being a Skid Row in this game. What the heck's this? This isn't Double Dragon. I'm leaving this because it's, it's an enhanced port or a reimagining, it's not a proper double dragon. That's a, annoying. Genesis. Come on, Mega Drive, do us proud. This should be totally arcade perfect in every shape and form. It's a Mega Drive. What is going on? Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Now just control as good as you look and you'll be the, 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 the de facto port. Hey, okay. we learn the controls, that's it. Well, the kick's still stupid. That's actually a property of the game then, fair enough. Whoa! Which reminds me of WWE wrestling, by the way, they punch each other. Hey, it's not hitting me, I'm trying to learn the controls. Look. I don't know. I've not cancelled out the English flag. I'm not ashamed of it all of it. Unless you two think it's racist or something. Like our local councils do. This isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I think it's number one. The NES had 40 pound games when we were paying 10p. It, was, it wasn't even competition for us, was it really? Come on, and fight me. Wanna fight? Oh no. What's going on? to some people. We're raised to be ashamed of our own culture. Nice clap, big dude.
I do not. I think this game is patch on Streets of Rage. I don't think I will continue. Mega Drive port is the best so far, the Genesis port, although it's far from great. Let's try the original. Perhaps the original was not as good as I remember. The MAME arcade port. Maybe, maybe they all control terribly. Hey, let me in. Give me some, give me some credits. Two pound in. I spent the pocket money. I agree with you totally. But um, some parts of parts of England, if you put um, the English flag in your window, the council tell you to put it down because it's racially provocative to minority groups and stuff. So we are literally educated to be ashamed of our own history and culture. Sadly enough. Wow, this is so much better than the Mega Drive version. Oh. What is it? Yeah, I think it is. It's appalling the Mega Drive couldn't do an arcade perfect version of this. It plays a lot smoother than the Mega Drive though. Hello, Decky. We're doing a mega. We're doing a um, double dragon port and original showdown to see which is the best and the worst. I knew there'd be graphical differences, but playability is a bit the biggest shot. None of them, apart from the Amstrad one, even play close to authentic. Now I'm playing the arcade. I realise how much of a bad port the um, it was because this is so smooth. shadows and not worry about it. Well, it's a bit sparse on the old um, sound effects and music, isn't it? I thought the Mega Drive port was good, and now I see it's absolutely lackluster, like my gameplay skills. Let me continue, I've put money in, thank you. Come on! Mr. T on um, growth hormones, isn't he? Crazy fool! And that's an impressive um, feat because 99% of British people couldn't do that. I can't do it. We weren't really taught about all of our monarchs and stuff at school because, like I say, we're not meant to be proud of our culture. Wouldn't be proud of everyone else's. There's Garfield up there. Oh, explosions! Oh, oh I deserve that. And what's done is done. Good, bad, and ugly. 
if we all if, it, if people started looking forward rather than backwards, we'd be a lot better off. Hatred's useless. I'm beating up Freddie Mercury over there. Like that song, Who Wants to Live Forever? Up the fence I go. I knew that. Oh, Freddy's back. Let me up. Pressure on people. Really? He's gonna keep battering me from up there. Yeah. Come on, Freddy. Boom. They still trying to hit you with this. Yay! I'm putting him under pressure. Ouch. Don't hit me. Don't okay, hit me. Yes. I then, um, when I was a child, that was quite disturbing when I'd go to places and there'd be terrorist alerts and stuff and we'd be evacuated. It was not a nice time. I'm a quarter. Does that count? Now what's happened? Well, the arcade version is a hundred miles better than all the ports, which is very disappointing because the Mega Drive hardware had the power to do a perfect replica in my view. The Master System port, which I'm a fan of two players, but not a fan one player. Really. Nonetheless, Double Dragon. It was a time of war. Look at this. Now that's graphics. My little legs. Yee! Little legs! Okay, well, the controls. Instead of being silly, I should learn the controls. Yeah! This is so much fun, two players. With one player, I'm not a fan of it. Great colour usage, though, isn't it? The Master System colour palette was lovely. This is not exactly a system pusher, but it's a characterful little game. Sprite flicker. We did not see that. At least I'm not fighting one sprite at a time like on the stupid Amiga. I'm English. England. Are you from England? Yeah, my um, my paternal grandmother was Southern Irish, so I've got a quarter Irish. I don't know if that means I can make Irish jokes or not, but I don't want to test the water. Maybe you should see if I can get a passport. BBC, look at that. Is that, um, never gonna, what's he called? I can't think of his name now. Rick Astley, is that, is that Rick Astley on a poster? Anyone who's, any of you who are English might know Rick Astley. Is that meant to be Rick Astley? Or am I just hallucinating? Who's she? Oh, she wants a whip. Sorry. No business here. Raw hide! Milk and tea. Wow. And you, you can't be an honorary British person then if you don't have milk and tea. <laughs> awesome. It could be distantly related though. 
Wow. That guy, that guy looks like um, from Guard of the Galaxy Drax, doesn't he? I hate saying this, but this is more playable than the arcade version. I'm shocked. This is the most playable Double Dragon of them all. The Master System version is taking the crown. Look at the beautiful graphics. Its own unique art style. Great playability. Two-player mode. I've got the, I've got a physical cartridge of this game as well because I play it sometimes. This is more Double Dragon than Double Dragon is. I still suck at you though. Now what it's doing? Is it crashing? Or does it want me to do something? Oh, I paused it. Oh yeah, the start button isn't a physical start button on this console. I need to abandon this limit as much as I'm enjoying it. I know no one's playing this apart from me, so you can't feel the game, but take it from me, the, con the controls are much tighter than even the arcade. I think the amount of, look how cute the graphics are, and the two player modes obviously is good. This is, this is the full experience. I mean the graphics is an art style, so maybe it's not everyone's preference. I love this. It's cute as well. It's like Mighty uh, Mighty Final Fight, but the Double Dragon, Mighty Double Dragon. I need to the barrels. I'm gonna have to leave this game to the rest of play. Absolutely incredible. I really must revisit my cartridge and Mega Drive. Well, that should be the same as the Genesis, shouldn't it? Neo Geo CD, that looks like an a insanely enhanced port. Don't count, Neo Geo. We can't bring the Neo Geo. What's this? NES. Let's see if the mighty NES can produce a better port than the Master System. Yeah, you have to have milk and tea. And don't have the tea bag in for too long. And do the milk at the end, don't do it at the start. That's blasphemy. If you, do, if you put the milk in at the start, you get a this is Sparta moment where you get kicked down the stairs. Yeah, nice biscuit with it. A bourbon biscuit or a custard cream, maybe. The NES. How do I start this up? This does not look like English. Jogador. I suppose Double Dragon translates all languages. Visuals are nice. Very old school and NES typical. You might, we might be get used to it, but what's happening? Okay, this is so far so good. This is a solid port so far. Will the 8-bit will the Titans be the domineering platforms to play Double Dragon, even above the arcade, which is a bit WTF, isn't it? Yeah, this is lovely. It plays absolutely smooth as butter. If you've had this then, to AM Cauldron, I assume this is only one player's. Not two, because it loses points for that. Maybe the NES didn't like two players. If it's two players, then it might rival the master system. If it's one player, hmm. Yeah. like a one player game to me. Hopefully I'm wrong. Yeah. Wow. Nice music. You know Frozy about it at me. I'm the only throw bells in this village.
Ouch. Whip me, baby. Ouch, maybe not. Got a twin sister. She's not got a whip, she's missing out. Okay, take care. Thanks, thanks a lot for coming along. It's always a pleasure having you here. I'll see you soon. I think this is one player. There's no indication for a two-player mode, which is a tragedy. A solo play, this is definitely a premium experience, though. Ouch. Ouch. In some ways, it plays a bit smoother than the Master System, in other ways not. Bye for now. Cheers. Nice. Tight controls. Don't hit me. I'd say the controls are a tiny bit tighter than the mass system. But the mass system's got a bit more going on, and the two-player mode is obviously a deal breaker if you've got a, a willing minion to play with. It doesn't seem to follow the um, arcade's entire map, though. It seems to be a game in itself, which is not a criticism, but an observation. Let's try something else now before we run out of time. Yes, that's why I'm I'm, I'm not going to get too sucked in with this game, as good as it is. PSX, that's definitely not an authentic Double Dragon. That looks like some arcade Spectrum. Please, Spectrum controls work. The Spectrum version, alongside the arcade, are the versions that I was raised with. And me and my brother used to play this two players, and we had hours of fun on Spectrum, but it might have aged like a... Terribly. Yes, time. Oh no, don't give me advanced controls. Please work, I'll be so happy if I can get a Spectrum game working on here. It ain't looking good. I need some sort of a Kempston joystick emulator or something. Aww. Come on, controls. Oh crap, I'm out of No, it's a no-go, sorry. Spectrum is not in the is not a contender on this day. Spectrum and the Atari ST are really annoying me. Super Double Dragon, no, that's a port, an enhanced port. Well that's worked out well, then that's the lot then. But only with only the ST and the Spectrum being a no-show. Well I suppose now we should um hit the ports we played then so um number one probably dependent on your on your lifestyle and facilities probably the nes and the mass system are number one yeah nes and mass system number one Arcade number two, Amstrad CPC number three, Mega Drive number four, um, MSX number five, what else was there, Atari 7800 number six, and Atari 2600 number 7, yeah. Or oh, I don't think I forgot anything. I wonder if... Why, where's the Commodore 64 version? Why is there not one? Strange. Hello, Andrew Presnell. How you doing? We've just been doing a Double Dragon port face-off, a showdown, and it just once again shows me that I need to get my um, Spectrum controls and Atari ST controls sorted out. 
which I will do. I'm motivated now to spend some time tinkering, when I, probably maybe tonight if I can. Because it's annoying when you try and do a showdown, you can't. And then we can always revisit and see where it fits in the list of things. I suppose that's one good thing. It's a playthrough in itself, revisiting all the games that we couldn't check. Sadly, though, we're at the end of the stream. Hello, Crazy Carranza. I would put Battle Toads on, but you're an hour, you're an hour late. How you doing, Crazy? Yeah, I start an hour earlier than this. This is the end of the stream now. Um, so I can put Battle Toads on tomorrow. No problems. We can, you know. Um, but I like I like to stop at about an hour usually because I, um, I have, you know I have things going on. But I'll happily do it tomorrow. It's all right. It happens, isn't it? I appreciate you. I appreciate how much you do watch the channel. It's awesome. And you know, I'll, I'll always play any game you want, even if I can't always guarantee how good I am, which Battletoads will probably involve me being slaughtered, cause I, but, but I'll, I'll play it. Sometimes I get a bit better the more I play. Yeah, good. Um, sorry, I was just reading everything. I like to read all the, all the um, comments. Yes, thank you very much. And I, and I promise you, I promise you, I will get the Spectrum and Atari ST going. I'm going to make that my priority because they're such great, especially the Spectrum. It's the, the spec it's such a great computer and it deserves some love. And I'm dying to get back to my old favourites. Yes, there's um, there's worse ways of starting the day, aren't there? Like an alarm clock blaring in your ear and being half asleep trying to get ready for work and stuff. That's a horrible way to start the day. Like being a zombie. I've got one of those problems where at the start of the day I'm really groggy, but by about this time, five o'clock in the um, evening, I start waking up. Oh, thank you very much, Re Retro Beast Games. I appreciate that. I always try and do any requests or anything for people because, you know, it, it's for everyone to enjoy. And then. Um, Sometimes if I start the stream and no one's on, then I will just start something, so, that, so at least I'm not just standing there. But that, that's sort of what happened with Double Dragon today. I was just sort of on my own, so I just got it going. I just, got the, the, I just put something on there, and it just so happened to work out and be really enjoyable. I did the same with Bubble Bobble yesterday, well, the day before yesterday. Cool. But I am, I'm going to go now. Um, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate it. It's been awesome talking to you all. And we've all got such a shared um, history, haven't we? We've all got gaming and similarities, but also differences. So we can all learn different things. Awesome. Because none of us had all the computers and all the consoles. It's great. And it's nice to revisit and see how rose-tinted our spectacles were or are. Um, yeah, tomorrow it's retro ramblings, assuming the microphone works. Last week was a disaster. The microphone didn't pick up my voice, so I wasted all my time doing it. So I had to just do a quick little video on my mobile phone, apologise, and so at least there was something on there. I was I was really annoyed. Yeah, but you can't win them all. I've had a few disasters with sound recently. One of my um, documentary videos I was doing, I lost all the sound on that as well. Um, but that was different. That was the recordings. It didn't transfer. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. Yep, I'll be back um, Sunday, for, uh, but tomorrow it's my Retro Ramblings, which, which I've got a load of new stuff to show, or show tomorrow, so it'll be worth watching the Retro Ramblings tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be on about the same sort of time as 4 or 5 o'clock, and I'll have, I've will got a load of new um, purchases to show off. Yeah, so, oh, tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. So I am streaming tomorrow. I thought it was Friday today. I am streaming tomorrow, 4 o'clock. It's Saturday. I don't know what day it is. That's Cauldron's fault, saying tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you can get me confused, Cauldron. I'll go along with anything. I'll think it's any day or time. It's tomorrow's Friday. I am streaming tomorrow. It's the day after I'm doing the video. 
Yeah. I'll get there in the end. It's, de it's dementia at my age. You're not stupid, you just got mixed up. And I'm stupid for going along with it. Look, he didn't tell me to jump off a cliff. <laughs> We're all so old from the 8-bit video games. We're all demented. <laughs> we'll have to get Google to remind us each day on our phones what day it is. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, well. We're back on, we're back on knowing what day it is. I won't be doing retro ramblings tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, our brains are slowing down. Too much time in um, computer game worlds. Yes. Yes, tomorrow I'm on. Saturday I'm doing retro ramblings. Rambling on like an old demented fart. I'll have to have a cap and a walking stick. Back in my day! <laughs> But I am going to go now, anyway, now that I'm confused. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, and anybody who's watching this later when it's a video, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment, and all that good stuff. Yes. I'll see everybody tomorrow who can make it. This is Retro Beard signing off. Thank you very much.